Okay. The shower power booster is designed so that each component is independent of every other component, such that you can replace parts of the pump without replacing the hole. In this instance, I'm going to show you how just to replace the pump and motor. So, this can stay in situ on the uh, on the mains. We undo the bolts, the screws, and they're simple screws, not fancy screws designed to actually stop you replacing the motor, but screws that enable you to replace the motor. And because this is all low voltage, it's very, very safe. Um, let's just finish that. There's a little um, washer in here, which you've got to be very careful of. This little washer needs to go back on the new pump. So we'll put that on now. A little groove for it to fit into. And simply put the pump back. Tighten your four butt bolts. One. It's a good idea not to tighten all of them, or, or tighten one at a time, but to tighten all four together basically. So we'll get them all in so they're almost tight. And remember, we put the little washer in so. Uh, stops the water coming out and the final screw let's say this is a, a little Phillips screw um, nothing very difficult to uh, find something to screw it in and out and as I say it's low voltage so you're not going to hurt yourself you couldn't do this with a 240 volt pump and you can actually do this with the fitting still in place, but obviously you'll need a stubbier little um, screwdriver than I've got. We're almost there. Tighten, 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 tighten. And new pump. Thank you.